Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about something that I've talked about a lot on the channel in the past, and that is how to build side projects, what the best motivation is for building side projects. And I have a little bit of a framework that I've updated I wanted to share with you. In the past, I've just talked about maybe one idea or two ideas, but I've got three different ways that you could approach building side projects that I want to share with you here today. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, our first principle in this framework is building a side project as a clone of a product that already exists. And what is this principle good for? This principle is good for a couple things. Number one, if you want to build something and you don't know what to build, cloning is the easiest possible thing you could do because you don't have to waste time figuring out what a challenging enough idea is. Even with something simple like a Hacker News, I think when you really get into it, there's a lot of functionality to build and there's a lot of things that you could work on so that's one reason why cloning is good second reason it could be good to build a clone is you don't have an idea for something you want to build yourself and cloning can also be good if the focus of building this side project is really about learning new technology okay what is our second principle in this framework that is building something that you want to exist in the world so this idea, this principle is good if you already have an idea that you want to build and your focus is maybe more about bringing that thing into existence rather than learning a new technology. I recently built a product that I had wanted to exist for years and I'll talk about that in my next video. If you're interested, you can go ahead and subscribe. But this is a great way to find motivation to build side projects. If you want something to exist, then that is good enough reason in and of itself. And so if you have ideas, maybe you've written them down on your notes app somewhere, things that you just think would be fun to build, things that could be useful to you, things that you want to be out in the world. Those are great motivations for building a side project. So consider if you might have a few of those and the next time you go to build a side project, instead of having to clone something that already exists, you could build something just for yourself. And that brings us to our third principle for building a side project. This is the one that I've talked about probably more than any other. And if you've watched my videos for a while, you've probably come across videos of me in the past talking about how powerful this particular idea can be. And that is building software that solves a problem for yourself or for someone close to you. And in my experience, this has been one of, if not the most powerful motivations for building side projects. For me, this goes all the way back to learning to code for the first time. When I learned to code, I did it basically the worst way possible, which is where you kind of build yourself a checklist of what you need to learn. So for example, for me, that was like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and even within JavaScript, stuff like variables, loops, if else, you know, all those kind of things. And for me, that's really not a great way of going about learning a programming language or building side projects, because at that point, you're just doing it to check a box. Whereas the people I know who are the best software engineers are curious and are motivated. And I think one of the most motivating things about knowing how to write code is that it can solve your problems and it can make your life better. It can make the lives of people around you better. And so figure out if those people have a problem that could be solved by software. The example I always talk about here is my wife had some tedious tasks for her job that were taking up hours every month. And I wrote a quick script to be able to automate those things. A lot of times these projects aren't going to turn into fully fledged web apps, although they could. A lot of times it may just be a little script here and there, a cron job, but those things are super fun. Doing little utilities, little things like that, little scripts are some of my favorite things to work on. And more than that, uh, my big point is that they're motivating. So if you're struggling to find motivation to work on side projects, ask yourself how you can use code to make your life better. And I guarantee you, you will find something to do that's fun to work on. So that's it. Those are my three principles for building side projects. Hope this was helpful. Leave me some feedback in the comments below. Let me know if you want to see more things like this or if you want me to focus on other areas. I hope this is helpful as you're going along your coding journey. And I also want to say thank you for being patient as I haven't been making as many videos recently, but I'm excited to get back on YouTube and keep having conversations with you guys. So with all that said, remember, stay hungry, stay curious, and I'll see you in the next one.